Will Israel's cutting edge technology withstand the threat from Iran? With Ismail Haniyeh's recent elimination in Tehran, the chances of an all out war have never been higher. Shalom from Israel. I'm Hanania Naftali with the latest update from the Middle East. So many people are not aware and perhaps don't know the technological capabilities of the Israel Defense Forces and the integration of artificial intelligence that helps Israel eventually win wars with the much upper hand. So I would like to go with you through the latest technologies that help Israel win wars, starting with the Iron Beam, the laser defense shield. Israel's Iron Beam is a game changer in missile defense. This state-of-the-art laser system intercepts and destroys short-range rockets, artillery, and mortars with unprecedented precision. Although the Iron Beam is not yet deployed in active combat, it's expected to be operational within the next year. The anticipation is high because this system promises to bolster Israel's already formidable defense capabilities, providing a cost-effective and efficient solution to aerial threats. Because keep in mind that while the Iron Dome excels at intercepting most of the rockets and missiles fired into Israel, including long range, every Iron Dome missile costs a lot of money. And I believe that the Iron Beam is going to help the Iron Dome in intercepting and basically reducing costs because less missiles will be used to intercept uh, incoming rockets. But before we continue to the next one, please visit theisraelstore.com, shop Israel, support Israel, and stand against BDS and anti-Israel haters. Every purchase is a statement of solidarity and a step towards a stronger Israel. Next one in line, F-35 Adir, stealth and superiority. The F-35 Adir is the crown jewel of the Israeli Air Force. As the most advanced fighter jet in the Middle East, it combines stealth, advanced avionics, and superior maneuverability, making it virtually undetectable to enemy radar. The F-35's advanced avionics system delivers exceptional situational awareness, ensuring dominance in any aerial engagement. Now, of course, the Iranians are aware of that, and that is why with the recent visit of um, Russia's uh, senior official to Iran after the elimination of Ismail Haniyeh, they have shown interest in acquiring the Russian Suhoi F-35. Now, while the Russian Su-35 is a capable aircraft, it's not as good as the F-35 in terms of stealth capabilities, superior electronics that the F-35 has, and advanced weapon systems that place it in a league of its own. The F-35 that Israel has can engage threats before they even realize that they're being targeted, giving Israel a significant strategic advantage. Roem artillery system, automation and efficiency. Israel's Roem artillery system represents a leap in military firepower. This fully automated 155 millimeter cannon can deliver rapid and precise artillery fire over extended ranges. Now, the Roem system, still in integration phase, is set to revolutionize battlefield dynamics with its speed and accuracy, reducing the need for large artillery crews and enabling quicker, more efficient deployments. It's the world's first cannon capable of fully automatic firing without human intervention. Multidimensional Warfare, Unit 888. Unit 888, the IDF's multidimensional unit, exemplifies Israel's innovative approach to warfare. This unit integrates infantry, engineering, anti-tank, air, and intelligence capabilities, operating seamlessly across all domains. Equipped with cutting-edge drones and AI systems, Unit 888 can swiftly identify and neutralize threats, ensuring operational superiority in complex environments. You can think yourself, what kind of complex environments can there be? AI and big data, the Lavender system. 
The Lavender system is a prime example of Israel's advanced use of artificial intelligence and big data, making it a nightmare for terrorists. By processing vast amount of data from diverse sources, Lavender has accurately identified over 35,000 potential targets. This AI-driven system, operational since last year, integrates signals, intelligence, imagery, human intelligence, and geospatial data to deliver real-time actionable insights, significantly enhancing the IDF's response capabilities. Unmanned systems, Rex and Blue Whale. Unmanned systems are at the forefront of Israel's defense strategy. The Rex MK2, an unmanned ground vehicle, supports infantry by carrying supplies and evacuating wounded soldiers. It has been actively used in recent operations showcasing its utility in enhancing logistical efficiency. The Blue Whale, an unmanned submarine developed by Israel Aerospace Industries, is designed for intelligence gathering. Now, while it is not yet deployed in combat, the Blue Whale is undergoing rigorous testing and is expected to become operational soon. Its advanced sensors, again, all according to uh, reports, and real-time data transmission capabilities make it a crucial asset for maritime security. UAV capabilities, intelligence and strike. Israel's UAVs are among the best in the world, offering unmatched surveillance and combat capabilities. Drones like Heron and Hermes are equipped with advanced sensors and precision guided munitions, allowing them to conduct real-time surveillance and execute pinpoint strikes. We have seen those before. These drones provide a significant tactical advantage by flying over target areas, gathering intelligence, and engaging targets with minimal risk. That's something that Israel has been putting a lot of effort in developing to only target terrorists and to only target the uh, desired uh, site because we know that the terrorists that Israel is fighting love to be among civilians, to, so, to operate in civilian areas, so uh, that is why we see these very precise technologies. Now, Israel's expertise in UAV technology makes it a sought-after partner for militaries worldwide. Countries around the globe seek Israeli UAVs for their reliability, advanced technology, and proven combat effectiveness. Cybersecurity, the Iron Dome of the digital world. Unit 8200, the elite cyber unit of the IDF, is renowned for its cybersecurity capability. This unit not only defends against cyber threats, but also conducts offensive cyber operations. One notable success involved disrupting Iran's nuclear program through a sophisticated cyber attack. Again, that's according to foreign reports. In 2010, Iran's nuclear enrichment program was significantly disrupted by the Stuxnet virus, reported by some media outlets to be developed by Israel and the United States. Again, foreign reports, not something that Israel confirms. This cyber weapon targeted the centrifuges at Iran's Natanz facility, causing them to spin out of control and damage the delicate equipment. This operation set back Iran's nuclear ambitions by several years without a single shot fired. Israel, a global leader in military technology. Israel's defense industry is at the forefront of military innovation, producing technologies that are in high demand globally. From advanced UAVs to cutting edge cybersecurity solutions, Israel's expertise is unmatched. This technological edge not only secures Israel's borders, but also strengthens its strategic alliances. As many countries seek Israeli military technology for their own defense needs, the strategic impact of Israel's AI systems. Israel's commitment to technological innovation in defense ensures that it remains prepared to face any threat. From the Iron Beam Laser defense system to AI-driven intelligence platforms like Lavender, these advancements fortify Israel's defenses and redefine modern warfare. The integration of drones, unmanned systems, and precision-guided munitions enhances the IDF's operational capabilities, allowing for more precise and effective responses to emerging threats. In the ever-evolving battlefield, staying ahead in technology 
is not just an advantage, it's a necessity, especially in the 21st century and especially in the Middle East. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay connected to the latest updates from the war in the Middle East and the situation in Israel. Thank you very much. God bless. Shalom.